Before we begin, I have an idea. I know you guys are from different parts of the world. So, when you comment, positive or negative, yeah, when you bash me, please add your location. Like, thanks Dean, nice video from India, from Thailand, from France. And if you are in a large country, just mention your city. Like, from New York, from Los Angeles, from Sydney, etc. Now, Cisco is joining the bandwagon. We know Cisco is not an offensive security or penetration testing company. They sell routers, switches, wireless solutions. And on their security side, they provide defensive security, such as next generation firewall, NAC, web gateway, email gateway, NDR, CM, and many others. All of their certifications are related to the products and solutions they offer. So we have CCNA, CCNP, CCIE, and we also have Meraki certifications. But now they realize organizations such as Offensive Security, Hack the Box, eLearn Security by INE, Sans GIAC, Crest are getting more and more popular, and their certifications business are booming. So Cisco thought, why not? We also introduce Offensive Security and Ethical Hacking Certification. So first, let's search for Cisco Ethical Hacking. And we have few results, but we're more interested with the second one. Cisco Certificate in Ethical Hacking. And look, there is a button here, register for the webinar. We'll do that later. So as I scroll down, this is a badge. It's not real certification. So it's not part of the Cisco certification program. So for those who are not familiar, Cisco has four levels. We have the support technician, AKA the entry level. We have the associate level, professional level, and the expert level. So what are those? We have the CCSD, CCNA, CCNP, and CCIE. This is just a badge. Again, it's not a real certification. So offensive security certificate in ethical hacking. And this is their slogan, think like a hacker to advance your career in offensive security. So what we have here, well, it's more of a marketing and promotion message. Broaden your skill set in the ever growing field of cybersecurity with a Cisco certification in ethical hacking. Build the expertise needed to proactively discover and mitigate vulnerabilities. So there are no formal prerequisite, but it says here, the candidates often have CCNT or other entry level cybersecurity experience, basic programming knowledge, and example learners' profile, entry level and college students, pen testers or ethical hackers looking to stay current with their skills. All right, so these are just career potential. Um, what we're interested in is how this program works. So I click this link. There are two steps. Uh, to keep the badge or to get this badge first complete the cisco network academy ethical hacker course and um, yeah so the um, network academy program so these are instructor led both instructor led and uh, online okay self-paced so complete the course and then pass the final course to earn your ethical hacker badge your next mission is if you choose to accept it, navigate to Cisco U and select at least one CTF challenge. So um, here's the CTF or capture the flag challenge at Cisco U. So you need to pass one. So complete at least one of your favorite challenges with a 70% score or higher to receive Cisco certificate in ethical hacking. So two steps, right? So what are those? Um, available challenges. So we have challenge one, Warshark FU. <laughs> what is FU? Is it false U? Fuck you? Or, ah, oh, I know now. It's like Kung Fu, Warshark Fu. The second is DNS event. All right, so these are the available challenge. Uh, maybe later, maybe in the future, they will add more. Now, I will click this. This is the Cisco Network Academy training site. I'm going to click View Ethical Hacker Course Details. 
And uh, this is it. This is the course. So like what I mentioned, most if not all courses under Cisco Network Academy are self-paced and instructor-led. So this is a self-paced course. And uh, yeah, this is overview, prerequisite, and la then later we'll access capture the flat challenges under Cisco U. And this is the curriculum. This is what you will learn. So under course introduction, well, this is just a course introduction. How, how about introduction to ethical hacking and penetration testing? So this, are, this is the module one, understanding ethical hacking and penetration testing, penetration testing methodologies. Under planning and scoping, so this is related to governance, risk, compliance, important scoping, ethical hacking mindset. Module three, information gathering and vulnerability scanning. So we have both passive and active reconnaissance. Social engineering is also included, um, both physical and uh, of course, virtual or online. Um, we also have module five, exploit, both wired and wireless networks. Module six, exploitation application based vulnerability. So these are more web-based and uh, these are all related to OWASP top 10. Okay, module seven, cloud mobile and IoT security. Module eight, post exploitation techniques. Nine, reporting and communications. 10, tools and code analysis. Oh, there is um, basic concept of scripting and software development. Okay, and this is the final capstone activity and the final exam. Okay, so this is it. Oh, by the way, this is free. Okay, you see? There is no cost. It's free. How many hours? 70 hours. Oh, this is quite long. So even if you spend 10 hours a day, you're not done yet for, for the five days, Monday to Fridays. You need to spend the entire week, Monday to Sunday. What is the level? Really intermediate? Okay, I am not really sure if this is intermediate. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, 34 labs and again, self-paced. Now, what we're going to do next is we'll go back to the overview page and I will click register for the webinar. Okay, I will register. I'll write my name, last name. I will also add my email address. Like country, company, self-employed, job role, self-employed, oops, again, self-employed, certificate of interest. Mm. I have all of these. Oh, what I don't have is cyber ops professional status, active training. No, in, uh, interested, not interested. Okay, interested in recertifying. Okay, there you go. I'm going to click sign up. There, I am now registered. Thanks for your interest. And by the way, when will this event Scheduled, oh, October 24, 2024, 1 p.m. Pacific. Works for me. So, what do you think? Is this something that you're interested? Nothing to lose, right? It's all free. I have a question for you, though. Do you think you need Cisco Certified Network Associate CCNA or just CCNA knowledge to start this course? Comment below if you have any questions and don't forget to hit the like button.